Today is November 3rd, and Pastor is saying to us, Victory in His name. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 7. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of paradise of God. In the verse above, like several other portions of the scriptures, we find the Lord constantly prompting us to overcome. In a reiterative pattern, he announced in Revelation chapter 2, verse 11, He that overcometh shall not be hurt with a second death. This is Jesus talking, and in Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, he repeated, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Jesus already overcame the world, and when he did, we were in him. His victory was for us. In John chapter 16, verse 33, he said, Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. In him, we defeated Satan and all the demons of hell. But we are required to maintain our victory. That's our road. That's a fight of faith. The Lord knows that the adversary will try to fight us with the systems of this world, but he charged us to resist them, steadfast in the faith. This is what the fight of faith is about, and he didn't leave us without the weapon for the fight. When David confronted Goliath, he said, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. That was his weapon, the name of the Lord of hosts. With that name, he overcame the Philistines. Hallelujah. That's our weapon today. Jesus said, In my name shall they cast out devils. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. That means, in his name, you'll rule over, control, and dispel demons. Then he said we should use his name in all circumstances. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. That's the victory. As you go to your office, school, place of work or business today, go in the name of Jesus. That means no matter what's waiting for you there, you already have the victory. You overpower it in the name of Jesus. Others may be complaining about their dwindling business fortunes, but your testimony is different. Why? You are running your business in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. You've overcome the world with its hatred, death, deception, falsehood, and falsities economies and economics in his name glory to God please say this confession with me I'm born of God therefore I've overcome the world and its hatred unbelief wickedness deceptions economies and economics death falsehood and falsities I'm victorious forever in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For further study, please read Philippians chapter 2, verse 10, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 18 to 21 of the Amplified Classic, and Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 3 and Jeremiah chapters 38 to 40. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 9, verses 18 to 27, and 1 Chronicles chapter 3. Reality.